ever work real hard to get somewhere that you wanted to be only to discover that what you worked so hard for isn't really what you thought it would be? Maybe. Have you ever noticed when the slimiest characters get a major win and feel like that's undeserved? Now that's something I can relate to. Well, homie, Gem and the Holograms didn't just teach us about being selfless. It also taught us the value of a true victory. So sit back and get ready for a deep take as we rewind, relive, and reflect on that time that Gem actually won because she lost. Let's go back in time. We can just hit rewind. What a terrific notion. It's going to Let's rewind to Season 1's Episodes 13 and 14, The Music Awards. Both episodes tied together perfectly, but the second episode's epic conclusion is really what we're gonna zone in on right now. Exactamundo, Jiggy Bud, cause that's the most golden gold nugget in the episode. I mean, there were like three totally different stories happening inside of this two-parter that the creative team did a mondo excellent job of connecting, but this one is by far the one that we really need to zone in on. There's a major shindig in the music community stirring up excitement, the Music Awards, as the title would imply. Gem and the Holograms were a total shoe in for victory, a, a guaranteed winner, but something came up. A new friend named Dance with an S cause it's cooler. She asked the Holograms to perform at their benefit concert for the Haven House, the Haven House for Runaway Teens. They quickly agreed to it not realizing it was the same night as the Music Awards. So after a very serious rethinking of their arrangement, they wound up choosing to do the benefit concert over the award show. This was outrageously good news for the Misfits, cause even though they were the worst of crooks before this, and they totally deserved to be canned, with Jem out of the way, there was no way that they could possibly lose. Pizzazz and her Misfit crew entered the award show knowing that nobody else stood a chance against them. Oh, how can we lose? We really don't have any competition. The only ones that could possibly beat them were the holograms and they quit on it. The slime balls, I, I, I mean the misfits, they took home the trophy, of course. Or at least Pizzazz did. <laughs> Ultra on point, Jig. It might as well have been considered Pizzazz's trophy. See, the thing is that Pizzazz is actually pretty wealthy. She's the daughter of a majorly rich dude. So winning was literally everything to her. Still, everything wasn't enough for Pizzazz. She wanted more. She wanted the respect. She wanted the thrill of glory. And she wanted to rub it in Jem's face personally. It wasn't about being the best anymore. It was about making sure Jem and the holograms realized how they weren't the best. Pizzazz the Misfits and her Gigantamungo sized ego strutted themselves into that benefit concert just to show off the trophy. Ha! <laughs> I really like the sound of that word, Gigantamungo. It's fun to say. Try it with me. Gigantamungo. Right, thanks, Jiggy. Uh, let's get back on track. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Pizzazz believed in her crooked heart that she deserved this trophy, and she thought that the holograms would be so burned, like super hardcore burned, if they saw her standing there gloating with it. But what came next was an absolute gut punch to that whacked out super ego. A super crushing blow that echoed through our minds in that final scene. Pizzazz walked into the benefit concert toting her trophy by her side. Her reality of victory crumbled around her when she saw that the event not only went off without a hitch, but everyone, and I mean everyone there, was celebrating with Jem and the holograms. A total jubilation of love and joy that made her so-called victory feel absolutely worthless, vain, and empty. The episode drew to a close, about to cut to black. We got a super close-up of Pizzazz, awestruck by this realization. She lost her grip on the trophy. It quickly fell to the floor, shattering into the nothingness that it was built upon. Pause for a sec, zone in on that moment with an instant rewind. Are you zoning in? This was a visual illustration. What, the shattering trophy? Dude, yes, totally. This was a picture of a hollow victory, a meaningless win, gotten only due to Jem's forfeit. And then Jem's victory was just so much greater. 
Showing how you care for others can impact a lifetime of memory. Showing up for someone else is a way bigger win than a trophy that you're going to put on a shelf only to collect dust. There's a greater reward in this for Gem. Yeah, sure, the holograms rightfully should have won this competition. But homie, which is the greater reward? Giving of yourself and your time for others? Or just celebrating yourself? Oh, uh, whoa, uh, okay, yeah, that's way deeper than I thought it was. Right on, dude. We shouldn't shoot for the winds that shatter into meaningless nothingness. We should hold on to what counts. Homie, Jen's victory came only at the price of staying true to herself, something that we could all stand to learn. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, Jig. All of us except Bill and Ted who aced that masterclass on authenticity. Hey, we actually had an episode on them and authenticity. That's totally worth rewinding to that tape, so why not check that out for yourself? Either way, thanks for hanging with us, and remember to keep it unreal.